Hey guys, this is Christian. Today I'll be showing you how to replace or upgrade uh, your memory on this uh, beautiful HP TouchSmart 300 PC. It's also, uh, I like to refer to it as an HP All-in-One. It's a 20 inch screen HP All-in-One. It's model number 300-1003. Uh, to be honest, there, it doesn't really take much to upgrade your memory on this unit or even many units similar to this style or model. What you, need, what you will need for today is uh, first what you need to do is disconnect the power cable from the wall and from the unit as well. It's always recommended that way you don't, uh, it's just it's, it's for, for safety purposes, put it that way. And then what you will need is a normal flat hat screwdriver just like the one I have here in my hand. So let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do first is, uh, see this black screw right over here? You want to go ahead and release that. Uh, you want to you have the unit, this is much easier done. You'll have a much better, uh, how can I say this? You'll have much better control if you set this unit flat down on a flat surface, like on a computer table or really any kind of table, on a hard flat surface, preferably it's a hard surface, that way it's not going to get scratched or anything. And then that way you can apply as much pressure as you can to release parts and whatnot, okay? So I have I have already gone uh, and uh, unscrewed this this black screw right here, and then you want to make sure you move the screw and put it in a safe place. And then what you want to do is I don't know if you guys notice, but this is one entire panel right here on the right hand side, and this is where your memory modules are located. So you, what you want to do is this piece. Once you release that screw, that's the only screw that's holding this entire piece here. You want it this. You want to release this to right to the right hand side, which see this is kind of hard to do with one hand, <laughs> as you see, it keeps slipping out of my hand. But let me see here. There you go. Basically, you slide it to your right. You might have to apply some pressure. You want to push down and slide to the right at the same time. It's easier to do with two hands, but it's really nothing impossible. You want to put this on the side, and then. Of course, this unit has, as you see, this is part of your heat sink right here. And here what we have, this is, this is your memory modules. This is slot number one. This is the second slot, which is normal for these type of units um, because this unit came with Windows 7 originally. It's a bit older, but it's not obsolete. It's still a beautiful, gorgeous unit. Now, if you noticed, uh, these are the type of memory modules that, that are not, that are normally installed on laptops and not desktops. As a matter of fact, this is a desktop. The only difference between here and a desktop is that this is all in one. In other words, it's a screen, it's the monitor and your computer at the same time. So if you, when you, once you upgrade memory, you'll be searching for, uh, I believe this type of computer, at, at least this model takes a, uh, a DDR3 type of memory. The way you release these memory modules, you can only do one at a time. You release these two uh, metal uh, kind of like brackets in a way you wanna but the way you do it is you release you push this one to the left you push that one to the right it's easier to do with you can do it with two fingers and you'll notice the memory module will will come will really will be released up automatically and then you basically slide this out if you look here this is a two gig module Let's see I'm gonna try to show it to you guys here with better clarity Okay, but you get the picture. This is uh, this is definitely a DDR3 type. Um, I've already looked inside in here. To be honest, this is a two gig module, and that's also a two gig module. So let's just pretend this is your new memory. I'm sure you guys would want to go up to uh, maybe four gigs on each module, or maybe even eight gigs on each module. That way, you have 16 gigabytes of memory. Of course, the memory, the more memory or RAM, and RAM is another name for memory on computers in general. The more memory your computer has, the faster it's going to move, and the faster it's going to work. So it's just, it's just it doesn't really take a genius to figure that out. So I'm going to go ahead and snap this back in, and then you want to notice you want to you notice that there's an there's an empty notch right here on the bottom, okay, where the gold pins are. You want to match this up along with the slot. Other than that, uh, you're not going to be doing a good job, and neither will your computer power up, to be honest. So. You want to slide that in, then you basically gently push down. You can hear that uh, snap right in. Same thing with this one, same exact thing, there's no difference. Once you're done, you want to put, you want to grab your, you want to grab your right side panel, the same panel that we just took off a few minutes ago, and 
Let's see if I can zoom out here. Basically, it slides back in. And once it does, oops, I'm going to push this all the way in. Okay. And then you basically make sure that it's firm and make sure that it's even, just the way it was before you took it, before you uninstalled it. You basically put the screw back on. Okay. And that will be it for today's video, guys. If you guys if you guys enjoyed this video and you like you want to see more similar videos, please hit the like button. That will definitely help me out. And if you have any questions or if you have any concerns or any type of comments, please leave me a comment in the section below. And uh, and then if you like these if you like these type of videos and you want to see even more similar videos how to upgrade and how to fix your own computer, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That was that will definitely help me out. Again, my name is Christian and thank you for watching. I will see you folks next time. Take care.